Are you having Galaxy S10 slow charging issue? Learn how to troubleshoot this problem by following our suggestions in this video. Fix number one, use official charging accessories. The very first thing that you would check if you encounter slow charging issue on your S10 is confirm you are using the Samsung provided cable and adapter. This is an important consideration since third-party type C USB cable may not be compatible or defective. Try to stick to accessories that came with the device. Cheap cables may not be able to provide the right parameters needed by your S10 to charge faster. If you are already using the official cable and adapter at this time, then simply skip this suggestion. If you're using the Samsung provided accessories but the cable appears torn or broken, consider replacing it with a new one to fix the problem. UBS cables is composed of a number of tiny wires inside and if there's not enough working wires, there may not be enough power to allow fast charging on your S10. Fix number 2, confirm fast charging is enabled. Fast cable charging is enabled by default but just to make sure, you want to check if that is indeed turned on. It's possible that you may have disabled fast charging by mistake so your next troubleshooting step would be to ensure that it is indeed enabled. Here's how to do that. Open settings app. Tap battery and device care. Tap battery. Scroll down and tap more battery settings icon. Look for fast charging and toggle the switch. Make sure that it's moved to the right to turn it on. Fix number 3, restart the device. A generic troubleshooting step, restarting your device must be done at this stage if nothing has changed. Try to do a soft reset instead of the usual restart. Follow these steps. Press and hold the power plus volume down buttons for approximately 12 seconds or until the device power cycles. Wait for the device to power down completely. Fix number 4, turn off device while charging. If your Galaxy S10 is still slow charging at this time, try to check if it charges slowly. If it does, it's possible that there are a number of apps running actively or in the background that consumes power. Try to see if your phone resumes to fast charge when it's powered off. If fast charging works when your S10 is shut down, that means there may be apps you need to close. Fix number 5, Clear Cache Partition. In order to load apps quickly, Android uses a set of temporary files called System Cache. Sometimes, this cache may become corrupted or outdated resulting to performance problems or bugs. To see if you have a bad cache problem, try to delete the system cache with these steps. Turn off the device. Press and hold the volume up key and the Bixby key, then press and hold the power key. When the green Android logo displays, release all keys. Press the volume down key several times to highlight wipe cache partition. Press power button to select. When the wipe cache partition is complete, reboot system now is highlighted. Press the power key to restart the device. Clearing the cache partition can be done safely and it won't result to loss of your personal data. There's no need to worry about losing your important data at this time. Fix number 6, Calibrate Android and Battery. Sometimes, Android may lose track of the actual battery levels. To recalibrate the operating system so that it gets accurate battery level readings, do the following. Drain the battery completely. This means using your device until it powers down by its own and the battery level reads 0%. Charge the phone until it reaches 100%. Be sure to use original charging equipment for your device and let it charge up completely. Do not unplug your device for at least 2 more hours and also don't use it while charging. After the elapsed time, unplug your device. Restart the device. Use your phone until it completely runs out of power again. Repeat steps 1 to 5. Fix number 7, Charge Unsafe Mode. In case there's a rogue app causing Galaxy S10 slow charging issue, the next troubleshooting step for you is to see if fast charging works on safe mode. If it does, that means that one of the apps is the reason. To restart to safe mode, turn the device off. Press and hold the power key past the model name screen. When Samsung appears on the screen, release the power key. Immediately after releasing the power key, press and hold the volume down key. Continue to hold the volume down key until the device finishes restarting. Safe mode will display in the bottom left corner of the screen. Release the volume down key when you see safe mode. When running on safe mode, all third-party apps will be suspended and won't load at all. So, if your Galaxy S10 charges normally and fast charge starts working again, it means that an app is to blame. To identify which of your apps is the source of trouble, you must use elimination method. Here's what you can do. Boot to safe mode. Check for the problem. Once you've confirmed that a third-party app is to blame, you can start uninstalling apps individually. We suggest that you begin with the most recent ones you added. After you uninstall an app, restart the phone to normal mode and check for the problem. If your S10 is still problematic, repeat steps 1 to 4. Fix number 8. Keep the system up to date. 
Keeping Android and apps updated may not mean much for a lot of users but it's just as important as any other solutions we mentioned so far. Some Android problems are only fixable by changing some codes and since the fix happens without a user knowing it, not many are enthusiastic about doing it. Some even prevent their device to not download updates on purpose. If you are one of them, we recommend that you stop doing it and install whatever updates are pending right now. Fix number 9, Restore Software Settings to Defaults The last device troubleshooting to do is Factory Reset. This wipes all software settings and return them to their factory state. Factory Reset will delete all your apps and personal data so be sure to create a backup ahead of time. Create a backup of your personal data and remove your Google account. Open Settings app. Scroll to and tap General Management. Tap Reset. Select Factory Data Reset from the given options. Read the information then tap reset to continue. Tap delete all to confirm action. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends.